All right, so I should update everyone because it's many months later, um, but our over fenders have arrived. And so the other ones that I used are gone now. And so we can finally put our ones on the car, but I should, Black ones. I should quiz. So this is, it didn't come like this for the record. Uh, Jeff's molested it since then. Covered up the fuel flap, thinned down the edge. Uh, so our, our original ones were missing for months. <laughs> um, I ordered them online, paid the money, and then didn't hear anything for months and months and months. I thought, you know, being a fiberglass custom piece, it was probably going to take a while to be built. Um, eventually emailed the company and got no reply. Uh, emailed them a couple of weeks later again, still no reply. Um, thinking that I got scammed out of it, I went to put a PayPal ref refund request in and uh, I thought last minute I'll message them on Facebook see if I can get to get in contact with them that way. I messaged them on Facebook and it turned out uh, one of their servers had crashed and they lost everything. All all <laughs> details of customers, their email, everything. Everything was gone. So luckily enough, uh, our overfenders were actually just sitting in their office for weeks. <laughs> just hanging out. Yeah, in the middle of Europe, you know, coming all the way to Australia. And it was really funny. The guy was like, oh, is this going to Australia? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, they're sitting behind me in the office right now. You know, they're... Uh, so called, Thanks, We've been man. waiting to send them out, but we lost all your details, so we couldn't send them. So, luckily, a happy ending. Yeah, um, they got here. They got here, and they'll be on the car soon enough. Should be good. Mm. Thank you. That's and that's the front one there, of course, as well, which looks a bit worse for wear. But anyway, yeah, they'll be on the car before you know it. Maybe if they fit, they won't fit. We'll make them fit. God help.
Love that for me. You fucking wanker.
update. Uh, uh, well, update. Uh, um, very, very flat vocals today. Not like they're not normally. Last bit of underseal time ish. There's a little bit of fixer uppering in the tunnel, but as you can see, the inside of the fender well was welded on. I sanded along the outside. I was thinking I was going to paint that body colour, but now I'm going to underseal up to there so that pinch weld will all be underseal, which I thought makes more sense because it's all basically under the car and that used to have like a rougher painted texture anyway. And so we're going to do, as you might have seen back in the early underseal video, a mask halfway in the tub. Now we're going to do from there to the welded piece, all that in there is now going to get under seal. So then that is all finished and we can throw the fender back on and actually stick it down and be done with it. So we're going to under seal along here. I'll show you some little glamour shots. There's a little bit also I'm going to now under seal in the front wheel arch. I'm decided I'm going to mask to a certain point and under seal that instead of painting that body colour. So under seal at the front along there and then in the tub, neaten up a couple other bits in the back that either I've I had to grind back and do work because of other stuff happening or I've missed a spot because I'm a bit, a bit average under the car there. And then the only things left to undersee was basically a spot in the tunnel and another spot at the front of the tunnel where the bell housing had to beat its way in. And then that's done. So I'll do some glamour shots and we'll get stuck in, finish this last bit of undersee. good yes I could have done that bit earlier I just I had second thoughts about it later on I wasn't gonna do it I did that later so that's why I've added that bit in there the rear guard bit I was always gonna do later just because they're still figuring out to do with sizing whether or not it'd have to get cut again this that and the other and welding was involved still so that bit had to wait 
and that's not the end of it. There is a little bit to do on the inside there eventually, but the uh, engine and drive line will come out and then I'll do that bit. So that's, that's that. Whew. All right, next bit, we'll be sticking the over fenders on. We'll be gluing them on. I'll talk about this later. Pop riveting them on and then they'll be part of the car and we'll treat that as if that's the over, the over fender is the body now. Oh, this car's been kicking, kicking my ass very recently. Um, there's been some good fun with the front bits, but just continuing to go back and tally up what's left and how much oil it's going to cost. My two biggest issues when you're not like the big star YouTuber stuff is time and money. Money being the bigger one, I guess. But all I want to do is work on this damn car and I just never seem to have enough time. And sadly, I'm not productive enough with it. And the other one is when you're trying to do something to this standard where it's not money's not an object, but I... I don't want to skimp out in too many places. I want it to be something I'm really proud of when I look back at it in 30 years when it finally gets done. And yeah, it's crazy just how much the uh, the tally of the bill keeps going. I was like, damn, for this thing to keep going and get finished, we're still going to have to fork out a lot of money between Connor and I. It's, uh, it's daunting stuff. That's the scariest part of it, just because I want it to get done semi-fast and we don't make money quick enough to kind of balance out how quick or how much needs to get done. It's, it's crazy. Uh, it makes me think I should have picked the other project car to do first. Maybe that would have been cheaper. But it's a, it's a daunting one, but it's one you got to try and keep pushing through. And that's all you can do. Anyway, enough moping about. Get ready for uh, we're sticking the overfender on in the next next bit. It's finally time to do it. We are sticking the over fender onto the car and it will be one. So I got myself some 3M panel bonding material. Hopefully it's the right one. All this is a bit hit and miss. It's all vague research and watching some YouTube videos. So we'll see how poorly this goes like everything. What I've done here, it's a uh, two tubes that join into one to create the epoxy bonding mixing experience to the nozzle. And to get a gun to do that is like 150 bucks or something. I am about that, so fabbed up myself a little custom bracket that will probably fail on me and piss me off halfway through the admission, but that's just gonna clamp on with the two vice grips and push individual tubes. We'll see how it goes. It's got my pop rivet gun, so we're gonna stick, or put the uh, adhesive on, stick it on the panel, and then pop rivet it, and we'll see how that goes. So, uh, yeah, he's hoping. Design for <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot.
try that again. Well, there you have it. Fenders are on. I made an absolute meal of that. My stupid brain didn't realise those bolts only go so far into it, and then the uh, tubes, you know, the cylinders, the press inside, the piston inside moves internally, and <laughs> oh, I'm a moron. I should have just bought the gun. So I'm hoping all that glue mixed well enough with my custom dual quick grip scenario. I'll figure that out by the end of it, you know, and see if it worked okay. And the fender falls off and I swear at it for about three weeks straight. That'll give me an answer. But that will conclude today's video. The fenders are on. Now the next step is I'll let it dry for 36 hours, I'll say, to be safe. Hope that's good enough. And I'll start to blend these into the car now. That's that's the next step. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you, hope you stick along with the videos and not getting too bored. <laughs> the fun stuff... Uh, we're, we're creeping up on it. We're creeping up on it. If yeah, thanks for watching.